today I have this 2000 Toyota 4Runner four-wheel drive it's hunting season uh, car got a lot of miles it's a very decent miles it's about 10,000 per year you know it's a 20 years old car it's 200,000 miles that's pretty decent mileage I would say low mileage okay now a lot of people say that's a lot of miles yeah but 20 years old you cannot have less than uh, 200,000 miles okay well let's see what kind of car we have according to this guy said it's kind of like when you try to go and it doesn't go and it does not really go past like 50 60 mile per hour if you're on the freeway and you will struggle to go on the freeway but there's no engine light not sure the engine light is uh, have anything to do with it but let me scan to see any code on it hopefully something that not a major normally if this is transmission it could have problem see everything's good no code even the emission is good too see that everything's good right here but let's go test drive to see what kind of uh something that they claim because if i don't test drive i don't know what it is okay okay let's see what kind of speed it is i'm floor right now okay i'm floor all the way floor it, it kind of like jerk back okay coming jerk back uh, it does not really smoothly you can my rpm is jumping like that because i'm floor right now and the speed is very hit about 45 okay i'm flooring the car all the way okay just going and very hit about 50 right now i floor all the way hit 50 okay so that means is have a struggle to to uh one thing I cannot notice right here is a very hot hot air coming out from here and very little air coming out from here so I feel like you know not no coat on the transmission no coat on the engine and extra hot right here and there's no air coming out from here I would say it could be a clock color converter what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, disconnect my color converter to see if that helping pick up the speed. So extra hot on the color converter. This is aftermarket color converter too. So I'm going to disconnect those three bolts up there to see if that will help. I did not do a lot but I just released some air out and now I can see that when I floor it it go faster now I can reach it or passing 50 okay see that and I can even go 60 now so you can see that see if I take off the uh, exhaust manifold uh, disconnect that it, it will go faster okay there is no code on the engine there's no code on the transmission so it is your cat converter is clogged up and from the checking is because the exhaust is heat up so much okay 
and uh, because it, it cannot breed it because everything fired back in the engine and even you floor you feel the car is like you know I'm I can't breathe I can't breathe so it's jerking back jerking back so that's what you you floor your RPM very very just move slowly and um, and I because it's like you cover your mouth and your nose and you run so basically just like that you can't breathe it so this car is doing the same thing so if you have a car that have a similar something like this check out your catalytic converter you know it could be clawed up just like this one right here and after I release the three bolt and this air coming out from there so this run like a normal okay so you need to change the catalytic converter that's all you need to do when you're changing it it should be running just like champ simple inspection but you have to like a know-how because a lot of time you don't know how then you will changing I would say you're changing your ignition coil your spark plug your injector and all that stuff doesn't help and you're changing your transmission floor it doesn't help you're changing your transmission replay your transmission doesn't help because a lot of time people say because you 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 have a weak uh, uh, transmission so that's why it doesn't take off you know so people will some people will take down the transmission and replace with another transmission because that okay so something like this it can be a very difficult for someone but it can be a easy for someone okay but this this is applied to all of your car out there that running straight gas only maybe even hybrid too they got a catalytic converter any car that have catalytic converter if it, if your catalytic converter clawed up you will have this problem right here so if you don't if you if you can't solve this problem right here and then you have to replace a lot of stuff and you can blindfold replace thing that you don't know so if you don't know then you will replace like i said all the all the initial thing like coil spark plug wire or you know even transmission replacing and i have people that have this kind of problem and they have replaced trans transmission before and after replace it, it still doesn't work you know because just a clock color converter so why is that because when you put your cover your mouse on it and you're running you can't braid it then pretty much like you this car here hopefully this will help you if this helping you please make sure help me subscribe so my channel can grow up a little bit you know I went I've been in the YouTube for a long time and my channel is not growing so I need your help okay all right thank you for watching subscribe bye bye now